have you seen this event evolve and grow? Um, okay. Well, as far as the event itself, as far as the National Battle of Bands, we're coming up on the 10th anniversary. Um, of course, my affiliations with Southern University, the two times uh, we went when I was on staff, the two times that they've went since uh, last year, my first year, going with Texas Southern University, Texas Southern University Cohen in 2019 and all those years. Um, the consistency, um, the buy-in, you know, not just from the bands, but the overall community. Um, I remember at first it almost kind of seemed like a niche type of event, like a niche audience as far as just HBCU grads, D9, people of that nature, just people who are in on the culture. But now events like the National Battle of Bands have, the culture has punctured everything. Yeah, so yeah. now you've, 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 you've clearly seen how everybody has bought into HBCU band community, um, just, just the love. So I think that that's the biggest, you know, takeaway from all of this, just the buy-in from all communities. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not only that, I was talking to Dr. Taylor about community. You know, you guys know each other very well. But being a part of HBCU band community, how inspiring is that to know that you have these lifelong bonds that you have been creating ever since the marching days or just picking up the horn? Um, man, it's, it's family, you know. I always tell my band students, you know, uh, when they come in as far as, you know, everybody's crab and they come in on day one. I let them know, you don't choose your brothers and your sisters. Yeah. That's the definition of family. You don't yeah. choose them. They just come home one day and you're stuck with them. That's you're right. gonna You're going to fight with them. You're going to argue with them. But guess what? Those, your siblings are your day ones. Those are your original day ones. So just coming into these band families, just me coming into a Southern University, and then our rival being something like of a Jackson State, that's like a cousin almost, and then we're battling Texas Southern, and that's almost like a cousin type of ordeal, you know. There's so many things that, that play into that. So I think just marching band just in all just, it just teaches us community. It teaches us leadership. It teaches us everything that we're just supposed to have just to be able to, you know, just matriculate and be a, a successful and valuable person in society. You're right. You're mm -hmm. right. So crucial, man. It's very crucial. Now, I, tell, I ask this of you every year, man. Is Texas Southern going to bring it? Are you going to bring it? I, I, I find that question offensive every year. <laughs> if we're going to go there. You talking about if we're going to bring it. Bro, I'm dressed. I'm ready for the event today. What are you talking about? The bus is outside. If we're going to bring it. Yes, we're going to bring it. That's why we're here. Like, y'all, we talk about a whole bunch of stuff with Battle of the Bands, but it's really all about who working, who's the best. Like, you know, sometimes band gets oversaturated with the entertainment side as far as the petty side. I ain't with all that. I'm with who's better than who. That's right. That's right. That's it. That's right. So, yes, we're going to bring it. That's, we're going to do it every time. That's, that's what we come for. As soon as we step out outside of the bus, like, we're ready for war. We're ready to get it on. We're ready to bring the trophy home to our, our, our family. And what's our family? Texas Southern University, Third Ward. That's right. Like, that's what it's all about. All right. But, well, Doc, thank you as always, man. It's always a pleasure talking to you. No problem, brother. I appreciate you. All right. Yes, that's sir. That's Dr. Simmons.